The Brock star is not in the lineup today, but his bat will be ready to go off the bench. Brock Holt, you've heard him say that if he would played any other sport, it would have been football, which is not surprising since he grew up in the crazed football town of Stephenville. Played college baseball at Navarro College and at Rice. He's happy to be home and wants nothing more than to be on a winner here. Aaron Hardigan has a score. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2015, American League All-Star for the Boston Red Sox, Brock Holt. History for Brock Holt. He hits for the cycle in a postseason game. Red Sox win the World Series. The best team in baseball wins it all in 2018. Just when Brock Holt thought his decade-long career couldn't get any better, it did in the spring of 2021. For Brock, this is a bit of a dream come true to play for his hometown team. Grew up not far from here. I've thought about some of the cool things that I've done in my career, and this is up there for me. I love the Texas Rangers from, from the time I could, you know, watch baseball. So to put on this uniform is, is, is pretty humbling. Definitely a little kid's dream for me to play for this team and to be a part of this organization. That dream began about 95 miles southwest of Arlington in the town of Stephenville, Texas where pigskin has always been king, but where Holt has made baseball just as royal and the underdog role just as revered. He was a freshman that played varsity baseball. If he was 100 pounds soaking wet with bricks in his pockets, uh, that would surprise me. That was like my first year doing play-by-play -play for Stephenville. And when I first saw him, he'd go down on the field for the first time, and I thought Brock was another bat boy. But yeah, he's one of the smartest players I've ever seen. I think that carries over to his game now as far as just having a feel for the game, how he can play any position. He's one of those super utility guys. He just carried himself differently than everybody else. He did everything right. As a coach, I mean, you didn't have to ask him to do things. I mean, he just did it. He came out his first year, and he just kind of stabilized our whole infield. I mean, he was the smallest kid out there, but if we wanted a ball to be hit somewhere, we wanted to be hit at Brock. Or if we want somebody up at the plate that's gonna come up with a big hit or whatever, we wanted Brock to be up there. And that was as a freshman. But if you were to ask me if I could have seen Brock Holt as a major league player for nearly a decade, the answer would be no. I mean, there were probably literally out of the starters, seven of those other kids that I would have predicted before Brock. Undersized, underrated, and hungry as ever, Holt would sign to Navarro Junior College before eventually receiving an offer from Rice University, where a breakout season would see him selected by the Pirates in the ninth round of the 2009 draft. I didn't ever see him again play until his senior year at Rice, <laughs> and I was just had the game on up on the TV and I look up and it says Brock Holt and he's got like 11 or 12 home runs and he's jacked. And I was like, well, Brock, good for you, buddy. You found the weight room and you grew three or four more inches. Holt would make his major league debut for Pittsburgh three years later. Three months later, he was then traded to Boston where he'd spend the next seven seasons earning himself a pair of rings. I think everybody was watching the World Series here in Stephenville. Again, not a baseball town, but all of a sudden, the hometown kid is, is playing in, in Stephenville. I'm surprised they didn't have a parade for him. They may have. We had a watch party at at, a, at the Holt's house, and I, we were just sitting there going, oh my gosh, you know, from little Stephenville, here he is. And while the 32-year-old free agent seemed to have achieved it all in his career, including marrying his best friend and starting a family, there was one highlight left to attain. When I'm a little kid, I, I wanted to be a professional baseball player, but that entailed being a Texas Ranger, um, playing for the Texas Rangers. So I, uh, you know, I'm getting to live out both of those dreams now. Holt sends it out to right center field. Base hit. The Rangers will take the lead. The strike pitch, and that one's lined to center field, and the Rangers salve an extra innings win today. For all the underdogs out there, I mean, he's just somebody that you can look up to and say, hey, he plays the game and he carries himself the right way. To have that confidence and, and, and things to be able to do it over and over again, that's just part of the community and it's part of the upbringing that he's had. And I think that speaks volumes. You just root for people like that. And I think there's, I think there's probably thousands of dads since in the last decade since he's been in the major leagues here at Stephenville. 
that have sat him down and go, now that boy's from Stephenville, and that's how it's done.